Hello to anyone who's coming in. I don't have my music on. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, but we're not going to take that long to start up anyways, so I'll just be here for a second while I put out some links. And where else was I going to put a link? Right. That's probably it. Hold on. <laughs> one, one more place. This is the best part about the setup is me linking my stream everywhere. Okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> We're good now. Gotta start up the game. I had stayed up late last night by accident, so I might sound a little bit more tired than I would hope. And also my voice might sound a little strange, because again, I just got out of bed. And there we go. Craft. There we go. Uh, all right. So it's been a bit since uh, anything has changed on the server. We have a lot of new people again. We have more new people than the last time. Um, and so the two things that I'll probably do today, it kind of depends. I we were so like we had small plans to potentially. Wait, hold on. One second. I want to fix my screen. Planning on doing before. Uh, so yeah, the two things that I had in mind today was one on the server on the Discord we had discussed doing Abba caving, which I think would be really fun. Yesterday, um, I was looking around for a cave. <laughs> And, uh, cause like, I wanted to look around ahead of time for a cave that would work well, and, um, I haven't exactly found one. I found something, but I don't really think it's a great cave. It didn't look like it went that far, it was really awkward to traverse. Hi, Mothy. Um, Mothy's also on the server, <laughs> and also in the, in the Twitch chat. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I haven't found a good cave, um... The one problem that I have is, like, I keep finding, like, these, I don't know, like, slits in the world, like, these little crevices that don't really go far. Um, of course, I dug, like, a mine near my base, and it went into a really big cave. But I haven't found anything like that just from the surface, which is really annoying. Um, so, uh, so I want to look around. Um, I don't want to go, like, super far, but I might have to. <laughs> um... And the other thing, as mentioned in the title of the stream, we expanded the world border by 2,000 blocks, um, which is not a lot, but, you know, it's the, the map was 4,000 by 4,000, now it's 6,000 by 6,000. And uh, that's mostly just because we have so many new people, and um, no one's building over there. Um, we have so many new people, and uh, I didn't really want it to feel too cramped if people really wanted to explore farther so yeah let's let's kind of just fly for a bit because i'm gonna look around oh you are at the world border okay cool um which direction are you you know might fly that way but um yeah i might also look for i'll probably look for a cave while we fly around if we find anything um may not have any luck but One thing is there's a lot of like a lot of trees and it's really hard spotting any caves if they are here um in the trees but i wanted to go a bit away from spawn area because i kind of assume um i kind of assume that most people have dug a lot around here and done a lot of mining negative three thousand negative negatives okay that's this way 
Um, yeah, we can start uh, going this way. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of people playing and um, a lot of people starting up little starter bases, the people who just joined, which is uh, nice to see. It's uh, definitely been busier than it has been before, but that's especially because we accepted numerous new people. So, uh, and then the server, um, for anyone who happens to be watching and is curious, the server's um, technically, the forms are open still, you can submit a form still, but I won't be accepting any new people until I refresh the whitelist um, and get rid of any inactive names from the last six months. So, one. This way. Yeah, let's go this way. Um, but yeah, so uh, I won't be accepting any new people until I refresh it. Because um, I just want to make sure I have an idea as to how many people are staying and how many will be taken off. And they, like, in case anyone was curious or concerned as to how that works, um, you end up staying in the Discord server so that you can reapply if you're active again or want to join again. So you don't get, like, completely kicked out or something. Um, but also, if, if you haven't been inactive at all for the last, like, six months, it's going to be hard to consider you, especially if you don't say anything in the Discord server. So it's kind of just up to me to decide if I feel like you're actually going to be around or not. <laughs> um, and eventually, I think, like, once we hit the year mark, anyone who hasn't been around on the server at all, like Discord or the actual server, will be removed from the Discord because I like to keep things clean. But I try to give people a good amount of time to, like, actually come back and be like, oh, wait, I want to play. So, you know, I don't want anyone to feel like they wouldn't have a chance to get back on. I'm not flying in the right direction. Wait, I decreased, I decreased my X. <laughs> Hold on. Let's go this way. That was not intentional. I wasn't watching. Okay. Uh, let's go through the X again because I just totally wasn't watching. Ah, underground. Okay. One nice thing about more people being on is I would love to be, you know, I would like to be hanging out with people a bit more as well um, in order to you know, have fun with the voice mod. Um, admittedly, I am still a shy person, so like jumping in the game and just talking. Oh yes, I see a tower. Uh, jumping in the game and just like um, talking to people is not super easy for me, but hey. Oh, this is your place. All right. Let's get down here. Ah uh, yes, I see. This is this is a very big hole. I'll unmute. Well, I have not gone out this far for any building, which is good to see people do. Ah, I see. Gonna take a look around. Because I haven't, uh, no one's really built out this far, I don't think. <laughs> this is in the area of chunks that get reset often, but now, uh, they won't be reset. Let me just take, I wanna take a look, looks over here. Ah, are you, uh, I was just about to walk over to your house. Ah, yes, I'll come over there. Hello, hi.
I haven't seen your place in person yet, so... Oh no. <laughs> um, it's okay, I can help you with that later <laughs> if you can't if you can't figure it out. Yeah, I am eager to try this with with people in like a cave. I feel like it would be really fun. <laughs> I like this tower, it's cute. The reason this is like... The, the roof is nice, hold on, I'm gonna get up here. Ow. Yeah, this is a nice roof. I gotta figure out a... Testing, testing. Oh, hi. Did they do it? I can hear you, yes. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's so weird, everything's on a delay. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, do you have the stream up too? Or, oh, can I still hear you or not? Mm, there. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Yeah, I did have the stream open as well. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of confusing. <laughs> Is there a way to make it to where the it's not push to talk, where it's just like... Oh, yeah, um, whatever your menu button is, which it's probably different for, different for me and you, probably. I set mine to alt, but you should be able to change it in your settings. I think if you go in your keybinds, you can check what it's set to for the menu. Um, let me also turn up. Say them. My dog is in the way. Lay down. Um, yeah, so you should be able to change it. Hello, um, testing, testing. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, good. Yeah, cool. I did it. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna I need to turn up my, my stream settings too. Hold on. <laughs> Had problems before, but I can figure this out. We'll get it right. Oh, you yeah, That was, you know, stressful. Cause uh, you yeah. see someone on the stream coming towards your house at a rapid pace, and you're like <laughs> underground trying to figure out the yeah. voice chat. Yeah, yeah, oh, cause yeah. I can fly around and and you can't. <laughs> so I'm like coming here lightning speed. <laughs> Very fast. But this is cute. Holy I like this. Look awesome. at this tower. I Oop. Falling. I'm falling in holes. Oop. Okay. <laughs> this is nice. I I like. I didn't realize you had a big old light up here too. Oh, disconnect. Oh no. Mothy's gone. Rip. No. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you got the stream up still? <laughs> A double voice. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I got lagged so hard. Oh, no. But uh, I was, yeah, uh, is... I was gonna say, I like, I didn't realize you had a light up here, too. Nice. Yeah. If it was shaders, it would probably be more noticeable. Oh man, but... yeah. I, I wish I could. I'll have to turn on my shaders when it gets to like. Oh god, <laughs> I just turned on my uh, shaders, and it is intense. Reimagined voxels. I'm actually using that right now. I've started using them recently. Um, oh man, that's so nice. Yeah, I normally use uh, Astrolex, but I've been using that one recently because yeah, it is very very nice. Yeah, it makes everything. Room. I regret putting it at the top of the tower. Oh yeah. Oh my god, hold on. I forgot to start recording normally. Um, also, oh, I have a, a voice or like a sound physics mod, and this room is super echoey, and your voice echoes oh. too. Oh no. It's really cool. It's actually really strange. Oh <laughs> uh, man, I, this room was nearly impossible. Like, to oh, get yeah. all of this even, it was very aggravating yeah no i can this is a pretty wild shape this is this is also really nice to see because i need to build like a, a kind of cone shaped roof on my builds at spawn so trying to figure out how to do that <laughs> and this is a good a good idea it's mostly just eyeing it and like counting because i did everything in sections of two and three so oh yeah that it goes like three blocks three blocks two blocks one block and then 
two block, two block, two block. My yeah. mind works in patterns, so. Yeah, and like, I did. I was like counting because this is an even number. I usually keep trying to stick to like odd numbers, um, but you know this works really well. Yeah, an odd number would give me a perfect center, but yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, I. I didn't think that far ahead. I just <laughs> made a big platform to hold the tower, and then I was just like, I'm gonna start building. Yeah. And then I did. Yeah, I, I've the first build that I technically finished. Um, I didn't count anything, and I struggled so much with figuring out how to do that. <laughs> I got a cow farm. My auto cow farm. Oof! Gotta turn my mob sounds off. <laughs> Cows are screaming in my ears. Um, Biggest thing I've done yet. Do you have a fortune pickaxe per? Yeah, I pickaxe per chance. <laughs> yes, I do have a fortune uh, pick. Hold on, I think it's in my your chest. I have many deep slate diamond blocks, and I do oh, have yeah. a fortune pick. I have only so much. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, hold on. Here, I can give you mine. There you go. You can use that for a moment. Thank you. Man, I, I have got to go caving for diamonds again because I really haven't. <laughs> I have not. It's like I went to the end and I got good diamond gear from the um, chest there and I was like, cool. And then I just I haven't, my armor's not broken. So like, I haven't gotten any extra diamonds. <laughs> I got 24. Nice. That's actually pretty good. Very nice. You want to see the cave spider spawner that I worked on? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do not uh, have around. the speed that you have, but I do have a boat. Ah. Yes, I'll get in the boat. Why not? <laughs> there we go. I want to make this prettier, but like, yeah. I was panicking when I was building it because I was like, cave spiders? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I only built one mob farm before and it was like, it was pretty small. So like, it wasn't that bad, but I was like, oh God, I don't want to work too long on this because <laughs> it's just, I don't want to deal with the mobs. <laughs> There's, um... There's actually two more cave spider spawners down here, but I haven't actually built anything with it yet. And oh, also, okay. it has one of the largest mine shafts I've ever seen. Like, it goes on for ages. Oh wow! Yeah, I've I've got a I've definitely only been like I've only been caving around spawn, which is kind of a problem because we've been everywhere <laughs> underground. <laughs> so I've got to explore out about a bit farther and just like, you know, see, see what's yeah. out out here because. There's so much land generation I just haven't been to. Um, whenever I join a new Minecraft world, I tend to go to world order, or at least as far away from spawn as possible. Oh, yeah. And it's only because I used to play way too much UHC in factions. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, nice little place. This should start spawning, like, very quickly. Don't look in there, that chest is a... It's an anomaly. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> I, I don't know if, uh... Because we have, like, a lot of data packs no they um, spawn very quickly i've noticed there we go um we have a lot of data packs i don't know if you know but we can actually turn string into wool and then back into string i did see that back into string oh yeah that's big yeah so it uh, helps with keeping things a bit more <laughs> you know putting it all packed up i like i just like having the ability to do that with more blocks <laughs> so this actually leads into the cave um Ooh. This over here is the largest mine shaft I've seen, and it goes upwards. Like, oh, interesting. I need to get a good angle, but where? Over here. And it's a lush it cave. Just, yeah, it's a lush cave combined with the mine shafts that just goes in every direction. Ooh, interesting. I don't know where to uh, get a good angle, though, because I got lost. Man, this is a really nice cave. Oop. Might have lost you. Where did it go? Hello. Oh, there you are. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Is the cave putting on the weird thing on my voice? Yeah, I, I'm getting all the echo on your voice because you know, that's how it works. Wild. I want to see if I can find... Oh, yep, here it is. This is the part where I took a screenshot because ah. it's Ooh. multiple layers both up and down. Ooh, that's cool. This is one of my favorite spots. Oh, I don't really nice. have that much to show. I've only been on here for three days. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nope, no, not this one. This one. 
Nope, not this one. <laughs> this one. This one. There we go. That's wild. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. That's there's uh, there's a mine shaft under my place. I don't know if I told you, but the deep dark is under the spawn. <laughs> Oh, I was actually worried about that, but I guess <laughs> yeah, it have to be now. Is there multiple deep darks? Um, I think there might be, but yeah, I went like basically. It's not like directly under spawn, but um, near the skeleton spawner, um, which is pretty much right next to spawn. If you go underground there, uh, yeah, the, the, there's an ancient city and the deep dark. <laughs> so perhaps I should have looked at spawn before I ran away. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a boat and I just started going. That's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's uh I'm sure there's more. I haven't figured out where there might be more. <laughs> so speaking of archaic knowledge that I completely ignored off spawn. Yeah. <laughs> um the data pack that gets rid of leaves when you mine a tree like yeah. instantly. That is very very nice. Oh yeah, it is it is the best thing. It is fantastic. Whoops. There we go. So there is actually one more thing I want to show you. Oh yeah, sure. Because on the opposite side of the island from my tower is a very nice spruce village. Ooh. And I actually uploaded a screenshot on the Discord earlier, but I got Hero of the Village for the first time ever. Oh, nice. From that one. And it was by complete accident because <laughs> I just saw an Illager and I was like, oh look, time to commit violence. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, man, I haven't done anything with raids at all. <laughs> I gotta try that sometime. I usually get like afraid because I don't have good gear, but I actually have good gear, so... <laughs> it was much easier than I expected, I'll be honest. Huh. I didn't even go below, like, three hearts, so... Interesting. I Admittedly, we are on easy mode, so that might probably oh. be why. Yeah, I usually play on, like, hard. Yeah, hard I was thinking about changing it to normal, so... Hey, that, that lower damage, it's <laughs> very nice. Yeah, it's not bad. There's no way up. I oh. <laughs> blocks. Well, I, I do have. Ow. Ow. You got your fancy flight. I see you. <laughs> oh, how far are you? Hold on. Away? I just went behind the house. Oh, there, you there we go. This is nice, though. Oh, yeah, know. this is. Good. I love these. Um, this biome of villages are really nice. It is Probably. very nice. Ow. There's a blacksmith here that sells, like, the most stacked iron sword I've ever seen with, like, four different enchants. Oh, huh. That's wild. I really want to build a path from my tower to here. Ooh, that would be nice. Yeah. They don't I have an IG, though, which mm. is a bit of a problem. It's nice. I, I, like, I really want to, like, use a village. I want to, like, give a village a makeover. Oh, be that fun. would be very nice. Because I love... I do like how they look now, but, you know... It'd be nice to, um, like, make it look all pretty. <laughs> I think I've ran out of stuff to actually show off. I mean, there is a quarry next to my tower, but that just leads to another portal that is at a very dangerous spot. Oh, God. I want to see, actually. Just... Okay, okay, okay. It's next to my tower, so I probably should have seen that first before going off on an adventure, but... Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. Oh. We can head back that way, and then I'll probably go more towards the border again. Oh yeah, definitely. But uh also I don't know if um I don't know have you been to the, like the the spawn area of the Nether yet because we have everything on the bedrock layer up there. Um and so I can help you with that if you want. I would love to have another portal on bedrock layer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we can do that and it'd be nice to connect everyone up. I don't know how many people are actually far enough to have another portal. You are obviously, but Is a lot of us are around spawn. Super close to spawn. Yeah. <laughs> stayed close to spawn. Uh, yeah. Well, if you get another portal, hopefully you can get back quickly. <laughs> yeah, we uh we only have spawn portal up there. There's a portal to a blaze spawner and one to the stronghold and that's pretty much it i could definitely take the blaze spawner because yeah i've been struggling for potions oh yeah and i cannot find anything you you'll see in a second but this is the worst <laughs> nether spawn i think oh, no. i've ever gotten okay it's not above a lava pit like i've gotten before but oh, no. it's close yeah that's uh i believe the spawn one is in a crimson forest um it's not bad so not terrible 
the one piece of advice I always got in UHC was always carry like a stack of logs and you can get out of any situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's true. That's that's good advice. All right. This is going to be <laughs> Oh boy. Ooh. Nice. I got an achievement. <laughs> hey, this is my spot. Uh -huh. It's uh, pretty great. Basalt Delta. Yes. <laughs> that's yeah. Hey, that's not great. Um Let's see, we're at like, we're at Y level 69. Wow, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, it's, at least it's not, it doesn't feel super dangerous compared to some areas, but. Well, it's not dangerous because I've been covering up the lava pits next to this. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's good. Um, oh God. Yeah, this is like an annoying place to build to the top. But. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to come back here with like some ladders and um, um, blocks. Second... Hmm? So because of this awful nether spawn, I actually built a second nether portal oh. a bit far out. I ah. could try and see what Y level that one's at. Yeah. It's also pretty awful, I'll be honest. <laughs> I basically gave up on getting the nether grind done for a while. Oh yeah. What do you do with that spawn? Uh, yeah, the nether, like, uh, when we first were starting, we didn't have anything good yet because we hadn't gotten to the end yet. Uh, the nether was just, I did not want to go there <laughs> at all. And the only reason we have the the graves mod is because I I eventually died in lava with all of my things. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, it might be nice to have a graves mod. <laughs> So, instead of Graves mod, why don't you just use Keep Inventory? I was thinking that, but like, at least for me personally, the Keep Inventory kind of makes me just like, I kind of end up like cheesing death a bit too much, you know? Like, I'll be like, oh, I'm in a cave, I'll just die, so I respawn, and I didn't really want to get rid of the element of having to go and get my gear, so I thought it'd be just, you know, it's like a, a, a similar compromise. I still have to get my gear, but it's at least like safe, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah, I do agree with you that yeah. some of the gameplay is lost if you are able to cheese it super hard. Yeah, it's like if I if I want to keep inventory on like a single player world where I am only building, then I might do that. But like, I just kind of like being able to get my gear. I just hate losing it in lava. <laughs> so yeah, that's the worst part. The thing that ended my longest running survival world mm -hmm. was losing basically everything to falling into the void after fighting the ender dragon at like a oh god <laughs> yeah that was like uh, that was definitely like the one reason why um uh why like i i often didn't like i didn't often go to the end because uh i was just afraid of just dying in the void <laughs> so yeah i've always you always want to wear trash gear if you're going to the end yeah because like, you can cheese enderman with boats really easily Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, like um the one thing that's that's funny about the graves is that like pretty much if you're on something that has no land it makes a block for you. And so um so if you die in the void, you get a block at the very very bottom of the void. Um so you have to go down and get it, which is <laughs> kind of weird, but I guess it's better than not losing your gear. <laughs> uh I don't actually have another boat, so it's time to do some walking. That's okay. <laughs> Or flying, I prefer, because it's over that hill. Yeah, that I don't want to uh, eat past you, though. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Oop, hold Ooh. on. I am slow. You may notice it is much farther out than you would expect. Here we go. Oop, hold on. <laughs> Getting stuck behind these trees. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Went too fast. If I rec recall correctly, which, don't trust me on this. Yeah. It's over that hill. <laughs> okay, we'll find out. And this is actually the coolest thing. This nether portal over here that I made, I didn't intend to make. And mm. you'll see why once you actually spot it. Oh, yeah. But it's the most complete nether portal frame I've seen Ooh. from the random generated ones. Interesting. Uh, I just took an obsidian block from the base of it because those can spawn as decoration. And I just put one block in and it made this portal. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I've I've seen a few of those and like 
I didn't know that they were like a thing until <laughs> until I just like actually started playing the game again. <laughs> but yeah, let's so, find out where this might go. This one isn't as bad. It's in a one of those blue warped forests. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, that's nice because no mobs Wait. except for Endermen. <laughs> Except for Enderman. This one isn't as high up. I can cheese that Enderman real quick for an Ender Pearl. Ooh. Yeah, this actually might yeah, be a I good like location, it. but also it's not like super yeah, close know. to you, so. Where'd you go? Uh I think he fell down. Oh, ghast. Oop. Where's the ghast? I don't see it. Um Where'd the Enderman go? I think he fell down. <laughs> I think for, it uh, fell all the way to the ground. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I was going to say, uh... Oh, yeah, Y levels. Yep. I think, that, I think that this might actually technically be easy, just because the... I just got to dig straight up, but, like, it's also not super close to your base, so, like, you know, I can try. Four times um, travel. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, and you can make an exit portal. Yeah, that's that's also true. But I'll, I'll check your... I'll get stuff for your base, because I think I could probably do it, honestly. Um, hopefully. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, it's never easy, is it? Yeah, it's. I'll have to check because we have a warped forest um, somewhere nearby. I don't think it's this one, but it might be like connected to this one. <laughs> we'll have to see. I have big question. Yeah. Why do you not have netherite gear yet? I just, I literally haven't come back to the nether since I got all this good gear from the end. <laughs> I seriously oh just goodness. haven't. <laughs> I need to do that eventually. <laughs> I've never gotten netherite in this game, so. But hasn't this been open for six months? <laughs> yeah, it has. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we did technically only do the Ender and Dragon fight um, in December, I think. December? Yeah. So. We, ha we didn't uh, fight the Ender Dragon until that long ago, and that's kind of where I was like, I wanted to wait until we did that and had better gear and stuff. So, yeah. But, uh... Sorry, I'm... I have see. the brain of a chipmunk. I'm that's sorry. okay. Yeah, that's, this is probably... I could probably make a, a thing here and probably one at your base, but I'll try your base first just because... Priority, I guess. <laughs> I guess... Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's not that far. I can struggle with a bit of walking. Nah, it'd be nice to have a, a bedrock entrance. Um, I want to try and do that for everyone, so... I'm gonna go through. Okay. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we are 4,000 4, out. That is pretty far. Yeah, it was the world border, like, literally right there. Oh, yeah. And... Now it's gone. <laughs> you can totally just go into the distance if you want to with the boat. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably keep flying, because uh, I'm curious how many... How much more access to biomes we have, because um, we didn't have, like, any... We had barely any access to warm biomes. <laughs> um, yeah, I did notice that. This is a very winter server. Yeah, which uh, did not expect it. Um, admittedly, when I when I started the server, I intended to reset the seed again, and I just forgot because I was doing a lot of testing before it was up and had like three different maps generate. Um, and so I was like, oh, I'll reset it because I don't know if anyone wants to be in the snow. And then I just kind of forgot. <laughs> so this is what we have. Not that bad. The snow is actually really good for fast travel because of ice boats yes that was the one thing that we did early on uh for sure was we have you know at spawn we have some ice paths because uh we we didn't have wings for a long time so yeah that was the one thing we initially were like oh let's make some like tons of really long ice roads all over the place but then we all got wings and we kind of didn't do that so you get wings yeah they they are nice Boat. Boat time. <laughs> Boat. Yeah, the uh, if we didn't have a creeper farm, which we do have a creeper farm, though it is towards spawn, uh, I probably wouldn't be using the elytra as much because rockets um, are nice. <laughs> yeah. I find that uh, flying with an elytra is a rare opportunity when mm. you're constantly running from spawn and just speedrunning. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely the thing. Like, I've... I've not really left spawn 
all too much. Um, so I haven't even used my elytra that much, and I keep I feel like I always use it for like really dumb short trips, and I'm like, why did I do that? I <laughs> shouldn't be wasting my rockets. It's always worth it. Yeah, it's nice. It, it's easy. The um, auto sugarcane farms are very easy to produce, Ooh. and if you can make a witch spawner, then oh yeah, water for life. Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been wanting to make a gold farm in the Nether um piglin farm or whatever so that would be nice and and also like i would love to make a raid farm that would be cool raid farms are risky <laughs> yeah they are they are they are very interesting i've watched a lot about them and i'm terrified of them <laughs> but uh it'd be interesting to have the most hype thing i am for i can't word the most hype thing for me mm. is the new developments for iron farms Ooh, and yeah. Just how efficient they're getting. Yeah, I gotta make a. I gotta redo my iron farm. I made like a really simple one um, that doesn't use any zombies, and so it's not the most efficient. But I made it like super early on because I wanted iron. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I gotta make a better one though because I've seen some of the new things people have done and it's insane. Okay, we are back at the tower. Nice. You could take off from the top of the tower and <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. Some height. I really need to make an entrance from the top to get to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll take off from the top and figure out which direction I'm going to go. But yeah, I'm going to keep exploring, see what's at the world border, the new one. Okay, for a second, my heart stopped because it seemed like my cows despawned. Oh, no. <laughs> they did not. They're fine. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, let's... All I'm doing now is just refreshing that cow spawner. I just oh, yeah. to keep, keep doing that until I have enough cows to where I don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, yeah. We have, like, a gigantic, um, like, field of cows uh, near the sugarcane circle near spawn. And, like, it's gotten to the point where it's just so crowded. But um, I did actually see that, but I yeah. didn't take any because yeah. my first thing for any survival server is do not take anything off spawn. Yeah, that, that, um, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, people can government. come in and play okay. however they want. If, if someone doesn't want to do anything at spawn, they don't have to. <laughs> so, which is, uh, you know, I like seeing people go out a bit farther now because we've all kind of been sticking around spawn. So it's uh, it's nice to see people actually exploring. <laughs> Here. I don't have a use for this right now. Oh. <laughs> I threw you a phantom membrane. Thank you. Uh, bats actually... Is that a data pack? Thing yes. Bats dropping? Yeah, we don't have phantoms on the server anymore. That's so understandable? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like them. They're annoying. So I just uh, don't want to deal with them. I was like, you know what? But then, of course, I got rid of the phantoms, and then we didn't have a way to get membranes. Um, <laughs> so I had to add a way to do that. <laughs> bats giving membranes is actually really good because there's a lot of ways to accidentally spawn bats in yeah. rock grinders. Yeah. So Yeah, I kinda of forgot about that. But uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get going now, so maybe I will see you later. See you later. Bye. You gotta play your outro music. <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> what was that? You gotta you gotta play some outro music. Oh yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Ow. Uh okay, so I'm gonna mute myself now. Um Let's see, so that way is more of the border. Um, so I think I'll, I'll just go that way for now. And let's just fly all the way to the border, and then eventually I'll get back to spawn once we just, you know, get all the way over there, because I haven't been to the new border yet, so I want to see exactly where it goes. I think this is the cold direction, though. Um, I think north is the warm direction. So we are not going towards the warm biomes as far as I can tell. But who knows, maybe we'll pop out to some more warm biomes. Because um, I want to go towards, eventually go towards... Oops, that is not the right way. This is the right way. Um, I want to eventually go to the warm area. Uh, yes, yeah, someone has made an iron farm. Well, we technically have an iron farm, and it's not the best one. <laughs> um, I made an iron farm that is no no mob iron farm. And I am out of rockets. The 
take that away. Oh, I had more rockets in my inventory. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, we do have an iron farm. It's a no zombie iron farm. It's very, very simple. I would like to make a, a much bigger iron farm because um, uh, because it's not very efficient. <laughs> so we have a little area. Um, we have a little area near spawn where uh, there's a a moss farm, an iron farm, bone mill farm. But uh, yeah, so I, I don't really. I'm not in a hurry to replace our iron farm because I don't think anyone's using it that much. So it's not like we're running out of iron, but. My dog is sneezing in the background. Hold on, I'm gonna get her out of my room real quick. Sorry, Salem. Um, but yeah, so, uh, we're, we could make a better iron farm eventually, but I'm not in the mood to do that right now. I have other farms I would like to make first. Um, especially the gold farm in the nether. And I also would like, oh god, as much as it sounds horrendous, I would like to have a wither skeleton farm, but I'm not so sure if I can achieve that on my own. Um, that's something that's a bit more compli complex that I haven't ever done. I've only seen it a few times too, so we are getting some new generated land. For sure. Ooh, it's warm. Okay, that's nice. Got a savanna. But we are going to likely hit the border very soon. Oh, there is a village here. Okay, I was kind of hoping we'd find a new village because I want to see it might have two tall grass. <laughs> I've been I've been seeing about and reading about how two tall grass is one of the most rare items in Minecraft cuz like in case you don't know um the reason why two tall grass is rare as an item by itself is that you can't get it um you can't get it from actually sharing grass. Uh, you can only get two tall grass from a chest in a savanna biome. And, um, yeah, so it's, oh, there's like no chests in this, in these houses. No, nothing. There are some other savanna, um, savanna villages. Gosh, I don't think there's any chests in any of these houses. Let me check a little back here. I think I checked this one. Yeah. Yep. Okay, there's a few more houses this way. But, uh, yeah, basically, if you, like... If you, like, um... Shear two tall grass, then you just get normal one tall grass. Um... Three by... Yeah. I think it's 15. But, um, yeah. Oh no. They changed the spawn rates? That's, uh, that sucks. <laughs> I have not, I don't plan on touching any of that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know why I would, but... Let's see. Okay. Jungle. There's a jungle over here. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. It might be worth trying to make one. I just would like to have some wither skeleton skulls. I mean, I know I can just go and kill them. Which, you know what, maybe we'll, we could do a little bit of that today, but... Um... Ooh, there's a jungle temple. I haven't actually been in one of these on the server. They look a lot nicer now, too, with the, um... New moss texture, which is not actually new to anyone else, but... It's new to me because I haven't played Minecraft in a while. Oh, hi. 
Yeah, I'll, uh... Let's see, get some of that. And... Go. Um... Not where... Or anything... I like how you can see all the redstone in here too. There we go. A little bit of iron, but <laughs> not not much. Okay, well, that's nice. Nothing in there anymore, and yeah, so cool. Not not much. I know jungle temples are not <laughs> the most um, profitable, but I've not been in one, so you know. Okay. I haven't also really seen the parrots um, in the in the jungle yet. I haven't really been exploring the jungle because I don't I don't have my rockets. I don't really like jungles that much. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't say that I hate them, but at least um, ooh, warm ocean. Finally, like a big warm ocean. Oh wait. Oh shit. <laughs> it's at the world border again. Oh man, the other one is also at the world border. I mean, this expands a little bit further, so it's not like tiny, but like, dang it. <laughs> uh, well, we do have a we do have a bit over here, so that's fine. But uh, we are close to the world border in this corner too, so yeah. I don't know if you can like farm coral, but I've wanted coral blocks. I wa I've wanted dead coral blocks to use for texturing. Um, so I don't want to just, like, you know, mine up an entire ocean, but hey, this isn't too bad. Um, this is not, this is not too bad compared to the other one. So. There is a desert, nope, that is on the border as well. Can't see it sometimes until you get, get close. So, um, I'm just gonna fly to the, oh, I was flying to the other corner, but I went the wrong way. Uh, well, yeah, let's head back to spawn because I would like to... Okay, yeah, this is good. This this expands further than I expected, so that's nice. Oh, yes, the Wandering Traders do sell coral. I never have... I need to, like, my one thing is that I need to get more emeralds easily, which, like, we do have the means to get emeralds. We have farms and stuff for the villagers and the trading hall and stuff, but um, I don't feel like we're producing enough or at least we we don't have an, a lot of villagers to trade with um we need to get some more like more farmers and stuff because the amount of farmers that we have is not huge and so by the time that i set like try and trade a ton of stuff uh i've run out of guys to trade with so we gotta get some more i think We are in unloaded chunk territory, and also a huge ocean. Lots, lots of ocean. We have a lot of ocean here. We also have a lot of ocean monuments, like so many ocean monuments and temples. It's kind of crazy. Oh, there's the, there's a dark wood forest. That's nice. You know, when, when the new biomes, cause uh, the thing is, it's like, I've been playing Minecraft for ages. Um, hey, look, there we are. Um, there's Mothy. Um, I've been playing Minecraft for so long that like, some of these biomes still feel new to me. Um, Mostly because I haven't played a lot of new Minecraft. Um, oh, yeah, buried treasure. Got to do more, find more of those, because I always end up finding treasure maps. Gosh, hold on, my throat is really dry. I need to drink some water. Uh, 
Um, some of these biomes still very, feel very new to me, just because I have been playing Minecraft for ages, and I remember when they were new uh, in like the later years, <laughs> later quote unquote later years. Uh, not actually that later because it's been like more than five years since some of these things came out. Um, but like the the taiga or the um, what is it called? <laughs> the um, the really big spruce tree forest is that what they're called? Taiga? No, not taiga. Some something else. Can't remember anymore. <laughs> um, those ones with the big big four by four. Yeah, is it a taiga forest? I, th I just thought the normal ones were taiga, but, you know, whatever they are. Um, those ones still feel new to me, because I remember when those were new, and I was like, oh man, these are so cool. I thought that they were, like, the coolest forest, but... Uh, I mean, I still like them, but they're kind of obnoxious to, like, actually live in, which is a shame. Um, because I do think they're cool. And a lot of people don't like the podzol, which, like, I, I understand... Because I think when I get in those forests and then I actually try to build anything, I end up not wanting the pod still there. <laughs> so I, I remember I like I was talking to one of my friends a bit ago and we were looking at the times and the dates of certain um, releases of Minecraft. And we didn't like realize because the era of Minecraft that I started with was, you know, the very beginning um, 20 like 11. 2010 or so, um, 2011 or so, I can't really remember exactly, but, um, oof, I am increasing, I'm increasing the wrong numbers. Uh, but, uh, we were looking at the times of, like, when certain things released, and these are some really cool cliffs. I'm gonna take a screenshot of those coordinates. Um, and, like, we just realized how, like, uh, how many things happen in like the first year of minecraft being popular in like 2011 to 2012 we just like we thought they felt like that happened over the course of like multiple years but no no it was not the case there were so many updates um before the adventure update um so <laughs> yeah it's like realizing that so much of that happened even in like less than a year is just insane there were it was just so much was happening with the game back then Oh, you have a base in a taiga forest too. That sounds cool. I, I would love to utilize the trees in a taiga forest. Um, because uh, that's kind of where I feel like you could do something really cool with the really big trees and all that. I've wanted to make some kind of build that's like on stilts or like on a cliffside or whatever, which I do kind of have plans to do that. Um, but I have other things to work on, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Here we go. Heck, it's spawn. There's Eon's base. Um, well, the sheep. There's the trading hall. Which, uh, where is... Let's see. Don't know where Cinny's building. We're gonna try and do some caving, but I, I don't have a good cave still. Um, and admittedly, I didn't keep my eyes out for a good cave when you were flying. So, who's here? Oh, there's the alley. Oh, this is Ambrose's. Okay, cool. Nice. Bricks too, that's nice. I wonder if I could light this place up a little bit. God, a lot of creepers. Let's, uh, where are you, Cinny? Are you around here? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was wondering where you were. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna light this area up. Uh... Hey, 
think that's like the slash me thing. Is it slash me? Yeah, it's slash me. I always forget about that. Hardly have reason to use it, so. <laughs> Ow. So many mobs. Jeez. No one's lived along this line of, of the coast, and I'm still unmuted, but that's fine. Um, no one's, like, lived along the side of the river here, so we haven't lit it up. God, there's so many of these dudes. Okay. They're fighting. I should just sleep. I should just sleep. <laughs> Mute myself again. Yeah, I gotta make a shield. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've, I always forget. I mean, I'm a, like an old player, so I just forget that the um, shield exists all the time. Uh, yeah, let's, let's look at that place just a tad. Oh, you haven't gone to the nether yet. <laughs> I didn't realize. Or at least haven't filled your own one. Yeah, uh... Yeah, we, we do have a lot of things to try and help people, but we aren't also, we also aren't rich on this server, which is, um, important to know. I don't have just a ton of spare gear lying around or anything. Okay. A little more. Just looking for where the zeros are. There and here. Who I am I need to eat my food. <laughs> Alright, uh, of course it's easier to tell when things aren't lit up when it's dark out. But we... Hello? Where was that? I think it's somewhere under here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. I need to check. Ah. I was just checking the Discord, so. Yeah, no one was over here until Ambrose uh, got here, so this whole area has been unlit because no one was walking over here. Just, uh, I assume that Rose won't mind a little bit of lighting up. 
try not to spam either, like in the sense of having too many. I'm just going in a zigzag. Okay, I think that's probably good. Um, I have a lot of junk. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the junk and then I'm gonna go to the end and just repair some of my stuff, which... Oh, uh, the mod that I'm using to for my model um, is called Figura. It's client side only. Um, so basically, you'll you just see my normal skin. Um, but if you have it, then you can see my my special edited skin, which also has moving eyes. So you know that's cool. Um, okay, cool. That's all still working. But yeah, so uh, if you have Figura, you can see special things on people's models. If you don't, you just see normal skin, which I like that you can do that because it doesn't override or it doesn't make anything different for other people. Get rid of all this. Um, I have a lot of random, random blocks in my inventory. Uh, Where is my mossy cobble? Oh wait, is it? I think it's in here? Yes. I'm just gonna toss that in there. Ugh, god. My organization isn't terrible, it's just that I really hate having to jump around all these chests. And put those away. Um, okay, yeah, we're good. Ooh, that would be that would be nice. Um, one of the things that we definitely, if anyone wants to do it, like having a solid shop of the really good books from the villagers would be nice. Because sure, you know, I can do the trading and stuff, but I also don't want to. Um, a proper, like a proper, um, enchantment bookshop would be really cool. Because we have a lot just sitting in the building at spawn that's just unused. Um, and there are certain ones that I would love to have specific ones of, because like right now, for example, right now I'm working on a shop for, um, enchanted boots, uh, leather boots. So, um, I'm, I'm making a shop of enchanted leather boots with Frostwalker, and I don't have any Frostwalker books, and those are going to be harder to get. But yeah, so, uh, like a bookshop could be cool too if you wanted to get into enchanting. Alright, nether time or end time. I haven't gone, I haven't actually gone end raiding in any form um, since we beat the dragon and got our wings, and I don't need to get wings or anything, because um, I think this pair is going to last me just fine. Considering we don't lose our items when we die, like lava and stuff, I assume that I'll probably be keeping these wings forever. Um, and I should probably, oh god, there's a lot of endermen here. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I haven't died, uh, in a while. Oh god. I just dropped my sword in the void. That's very cool. Uh, that was, um, why did he get mad at me? I guess I looked at him. Where did you come from? Oh god. <laughs> Me just talking about how I'm not going to lose any items because of the grave mod and I, I press Q and drop my sword into 
Okay, well now I don't have a sword to defend myself, so I'm getting getting out of here. Um, I do have a lot of extra swords, so I'm not concerned. But oh my God, <laughs> literally right after saying how I'm not going to um lose any items from death. Good lord. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I didn't actually fall into the void, but uh. <laughs> okay. Let's see, that one's pretty good. Yeah. Sharpness 4, Unbreaking 3, Mending, Fire Aspect, that's fine. I can use that. <laughs> I'm glad I saved myself. Because that would have been really funny. <laughs> and again, Graves mod, so I don't lose anything, so I wouldn't be that mad about it, but... Um... I guess I looked at an Enderman when I was just standing there. Yeah, I was thinking about changing the bind item. I've seen people do that a lot by accident too, you know, uh, where they just press Q in a panic because it's right next to W. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was trying to fill my inventory with rockets. I wouldn't get any stuff in my inventory. So that's why I like freaked out because I was in my menu. So that that was exciting. Let's go and repair my stuff. I want sweeping edge, that's what I'm missing. I might have a book for that already. So I'll go back and enchant this. Got to get some levels again. Or, I do have some, but I need more levels, so... Uh, yeah, let's go and actually repair my stuff. I guess I'm glad I dropped my sword, because I had, like, five backup swords. So, out of all things to drop, it was the one that didn't matter as much. So let's just, uh... I forgot my, my mob sounds are totally off, which is fine, but uh, I will have to turn them back on so I don't get jump scared by other things. Yeah, take two. Um, <laughs> this take is going better. Let's see. I do have one Frostwalker boot book. Book book. Going to the nether early game is, like, always the most anxiety-inducing part of Minecraft for me. So, uh, I don't blame anyone new for not going into the nether anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah, the Crimson Forest for the first spawn was horrible. Like, now I don't really care, but yeah, first starting out, it's it's why I died uh, and lost all my stuff prior to the Graves mod. Because one of those, um, whatever they're called, or are they called Hoglins? Um, those, one of those things just knocked me into the lava. It was horrendous. I also just kind of don't like navigating the Crimson Forest. They're really, they feel really claustrophobic to me. I don't know... I don't know if that's just me, but they feel very claustrophobic with how how many trees there are and how much the wart just like takes up all that space. Okay, so I think that's fine. Let's I don't really have to repair anything that badly, but should be said the sword is enchanted. Um and it's only stuff that came from the end, so it's a pretty impressive one. Okay, um, I don't need a chant. Actually, let's do this. This one real quick.
we still really gotta... <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever fix the trash or the ender pearls. There's just so many. Okay, I think... I think we're good. Let's get out of here. I would like to build something nice in the, um, end, uh, area here, like, kind of, like, pretty up the island or something. Um, I can't remember, because I've seen people do that, but, um, I don't think the, does the, I don't remember if the end dragon actually destroys normal blocks or not. Um, so I wouldn't want to build something and then have it destroyed if someone spawns another dragon. So I don't know how that works. Um... So I'll have to look into that. It does, yeah. I've seen people build cool things. It's weird because I saw someone, someone that I watch, uh, built a cool thing in the end, but they also were like, oh yeah, if you spawn an end dragon in the server, it drops an elytra, so people might do that. And But then they also prettied up the whole, sp the whole end area, and so I was like, well, is it going to get destroyed, or... I don't know. We, we we don't have it currently set to... Like, there's no use in defeating the end dragon unless, like... Or really, there isn't any any reason. We don't have any reason to spawn um, the end dragon. I'll have to look. Maybe if it's a game rule. Uh, if it's a game rule specifically for the ender dragon, then maybe I could turn it off. I don't want to turn off mob griefing for, like, everything, though. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe there's a data pack specifically for the ender dragon. If there is, then, then you know, I wouldn't mind putting that on. It's not like the dragon's going to be coming to the overworld and destroying everything or something. Unless you want to do that. Which I'm sure no one would ever do. Part of me is curious just because it's so wild that... <laughs> because, you know, watching Dokkam do that, it's like, it was insane seeing that happen. It's like, wow, that's cool. Um, and it, it makes me want to do that, but there's no way I'd ever figure it out properly. It would take too many attempts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But yeah, I mean, maybe I'll see if there's a, uh, a way to, um, turn off griefing specifically. Or, I do think we have a data pack to stop Endermen from pulling blocks. And that's mostly because I find that to be really obnoxious if you're building stuff. So. Whoops. You just setting off rockets? Okay. Just make sure. See how much is, uh. Oh, hi. Probably add a few more around here. Okay, that's probably good. Um, right, let's get all these rockets back. I always end up checking achievements because I seriously have no idea what any of them are. Okay, Crying Obsidian, that's what that is. I'm trying to... I need... I keep AFKing here every so often because I want the rest of this wheat to grow. And it is not growing. I think I need to add a bit more water around here. Um, let me grab some planks and do that. We're not doing anything specific today, I guess. Um, aside from having flown to the world border and I was going to look for a cave. So maybe we can explore again and look for a cave. But where are... There we go. Right now, the boot shop that I have planned is just unenchanted boots. <laughs> this chest is going to have enchanted ones, and then this chest is going to have unenchanted. Um, and these are going to be way cheaper, obviously. I was going to put the information here, which I did have. Um, it's just technically the enchanted ones are not finished, so... <laughs> But the reason why was because uh, there's just a lot of snow around here, and the powdered snow is really, really annoying. Um, and I thought it would be fun to have, like, a, uh... I thought it would be fun to have, like, a little shop, even though leather boots are not really that useful, aside from the powdered snow. 
but there are a lot of people around spawn so i thought it would be nice to just like provide them in a really cheap way because i have a pair of um i have a pair of frostwalker enchanted leather boots and they are very useful when i was walking around especially near the um, icy oceans where there's just like ran random patches of water because it's really obnoxious getting like a boat and um uh, and just like having to get out of the boat and then get on the ice and then get the boat back down and then yeah it's very annoying so I uh, thought that would be nice to do because the frost walker is very cool but that's one that you can't get in unless you find it I think I don't remember um, I have to check how that works I know there's certain enchantments you can't get normally from levels and stuff but Man, I, I've got to get a horse. I mean, I'd never use it because I have wings now, but I like horses. One thing i got to work on again, too, is this. The inside of the nether portal, because that's where the enchanting table was supposed to go. Um, I just don't want to... I don't want to... I'm so lazy, I don't want to put... I, I really don't like putting nether rack on the roof. Um... It's very not fun. I just haven't wanted to do that. I, I look forward to the idea of decorating this. It's just that the terraforming of a cave is a lot of work. You know what? I got a lot of horse armor. I probably don't need... Cindy, I don't know if you have diamond horse armor, but I definitely do if you want it. Um, let me check what I have. Yes, I do. I have like three, three pairs of diamond horse armor. Put that away. Okay. Yeah, I could give you diamond armor if you want. I do like how the gold looks, though, or at least I have a texture pack that makes it look nice. So, um, I don't really, a diamond looks kind of ugly to me, but it's also good horse armor, so, you know, there's that. Oh, you are? Okay, cool. And, uh, there you go. Yeah, this is a nice pack. You are welcome. I was about to type in chat, even though you are listening to my stream. <laughs> instinct okay uh yeah we got a lot of stuff to do in my my home base i've been digging more uh yes you can you can use crying obsidian and the portals entirely i think there's one uh i think the end portal is entirely crying obsidian because that's all that i had <laughs> so yes you can use it Yeah, so uh, I I think it also kind of I think it lets you make even bigger portals than normal, but I'm not totally sure. So very nice. Okay, uh, man, it's like I don't know if these aren't well. This grew, and this is not. So still have some that's not growing. Oh gosh, I've been streaming for an hour already. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break just to go use the bathroom and get some more water water and stuff. I'm going to hide in the boot shop. Um, also, yes, uh, you can use that crying obsidian. Honestly, I had no idea it was in there. But yes, you can use that. Pretty much as long as you don't take any of the nether terraforming blocks, you're fine. But uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to be right back.
All right, uh, we are back. Let's see, I think I will fly around and look for some caves because I would like to do Abba caving. I don't think we're gonna get to that today necessarily because um, I just want to make sure we have a good cave and we don't like because you're you're allowed to you're allowed to dig. Um, you're allowed to dig if you hear something or if you run into a dead end. But it wouldn't be fun if we found a cave and like immediately got to a dead end. So I'm gonna go this way because I think I'll have more luck in this different terrain. Whoops. There's a cave right here. I, I wanted to go a bit farther because I didn't want to run into problems um, with finding stuff that we've accidentally already been to. Okay, so as much as uh, it seems cheaty, I'm going to go into spectator in order to get a quick glance because I'm not going to just like, I'm not going to go into spectator and just look around at everything. I just want to go and see and make sure that these actually snake into like bigger, um, uh, you know, bigger caves. So... Let's see. Um, not, not really. I can see that there's more caves down here, but I was hoping to, like, see that there was, like, this is on the stream, so, you know, it's, there's proof. There's proof that I'm not, not cheesing or, or cheating or anything. Um, there is a giant cavern down here, so that could be good. Even though it doesn't, I don't really seem to see a way to get down to it. Um, I know that we can at least dig to it. There are some caves here, so this could be actually... Well, this is a ravine that's in, in the water. But this could be an okay place. God, that is... I want, mostly want to make sure this isn't all waterlogged. <laughs> that would be very annoying. Okay. That's one place. Uh, I'm going to look around a tad more. Just to see there is that one over there but i believe it's been explored let's go and see you know what um man i always forget you can speed up the because i know i went down here a little bit but let's take a look oh yes it has been lit up or at least are those just torches no yeah those that's definitely been lit up um so let's just uh not all of this area has been lit up this could be a nice this could be a good place yeah this actually there are torches so yeah i think this place has been lit up a bit too much i don't think I'm not totally sure if it's clean. But that other place might be good. I just hoping to find like a big open cavern like that where you get the mine shaft and, and everything. Be really nice. Um you know, seeing the horses and thinking about the horses, even though I have no use for them. Um, I really wanted to get into ooh. Uh, I really wanted to get into horses because I was hoping to like I wanted to make like a um kind of like a a stable where I just bred a lot of them. Oh, there's a mine shaft here. This is a pretty good cave. And I don't think it's been explored. I don't see any torches. Okay, yeah, this is a really good one. God, you know, I realized the one thing that I was realizing with the idea of doing Abba caving, um I haven't seen any, I haven't like none of the people I watch have done Abba caving with this new cave generation, <laughs> um, and so I'm like kind of kind of afraid, admittedly. Um, so it sounds it sounds kind of scary. Like, is it actually even going to be good? <laughs> because it's the caves are so crazy now. Um, I feel like I have a really hard time finding some of those better ores. Now that the cave generation has changed, 
um, because the caves are so big. So I don't know. We'll have to see how that could go. Um, I don't know if anyone cares, but like it might be nice to wait to do it until the weekend. I don't know if people are more free on the weekend. Um, I don't because I, I normally stream Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I don't mind doing the Abba caving with everyone if it's if the weekend happens to be better. Um, I have a lot of free time, which is why I stream like this. So uh, I might ask in the server. Oh yeah, the Crying Obsidian is really cool. Um, I'm just going to do a quick ping, which like, yeah, I think it might be... Mm, okay. Yeah, we could always plan for a different date, honestly. Um, I think we got a good cave figured out. If anything, I can figure out a few more caves and just double check. Um, but I don't mind doing a different, uh, a different day. I'm also incredibly tired. So, so for today, anyways... Um, I'm not doing anything on, I, I'm doing streams on Thursday, but, uh, But I'll type this afterwards because I was gonna do a whole poll <laughs> for the for the ping, so I'll do this after the stream. But uh, yeah, so at least I think I found a decent cave. Um, I do need to go like normal caving though, just like normal normal caving. And I wanted to go back into my normal mines, but I would kind of explored them entirely. I don't think I had. Did I have... I don't know if I have... Oh, there's Sweeping Edge. Dang. On that one, that has like three. Let's see. These books that have like... multiple is a... Uh, oof. Oh, you're also in a crimson forest? Oh boy. Yeah. That's a... That's not great. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go... Get Sweeping Edge. I think we have that. If you need help, because um, I was mentioning to Mothy earlier that we have all the portals on the roof of the nether. So if you need help with that, I could certainly... So it could certainly help. Uh, actually, how many emeralds do I have currently? Oh yeah, so basically there's two ways that I could go about doing it. Um, obviously, I assume you probably want access to the nether so that you can go and explore it. Um, so I'd have to dig all the way up to the roof and, and break it. Um, but I can already make a portal on the roof without doing that. It just means that you wouldn't be able to get down to the nether <laughs> until I break it. So. Uh, I only got... Really? Do I only have eight emeralds? Okay, I guess I... Yes, I only have eight emeralds. Uh, no, I don't have any, I don't, we don't have any item linking in the chat, but, okay. Yeah, so, basically, if you, if you want to do it yourself, too, um, or at least getting a portal on the roof, you can go to the spawn to get to the roof, and then, um, 
find your coordinates just on the rooftop and then make a new portal. Um, of course, you'll have two portals, so like that means you might come out <laughs> the other other side. Are there like who can use the? I forgot what kind of guy. Oh no. <laughs> uh, is there like a guy who can take feathers? I don't think we have one, but I need to get one because we got a lot of feathers there. And that's that. Uh, carrots. Cool. I'm gonna go get some more um, at the other farms. I have other things that I gotta do today that I kind of like forgot I needed to do. I stayed up late and then I forgot to... Oh, there's Frostwalker too. I don't know, this has been sitting here forever and I have no idea who got it. Um, I can certainly return it. There's also a disc for other side in here. Um, oh, Fire Aspect 2, Bane of Arthropods 4, and Knockback 2. <laughs> the Bane of Arthropods. God. Yeah, that's that's not great. Ooh, no one's been over here for a while, so it's not grown. Okay, I'll take the carrots, because those seem to be done. I remember when I was I was watching like old Minecraft videos and my god, I forgot how bad the enchantments were like in terms of the rolling sometimes because they seriously just got Bane of Arthropods all the time. I I never haven't gotten it that much on my on my own swords whenever I enchant. So like when I was watching old videos and I just saw how much they were getting it, it was like holy crap. <laughs> But levels and enchantments worked a little different back then. Yeah, I guess that's not too bad if you want to kill spiders. Your parrot found you? <laughs> that's funny. Impressive. I don't have any pets on the server. I haven't tamed any animals at all, which is kind of odd. I I'm surprised I haven't done that yet. Let me Discord out of the way, I can't see the chat. I always like planting the seed. It's the whoop, phone going off. Whoops. God, I, I always hate it when I have my rockets in my offhand and I just start launching them without meaning to. I'm trying to think of what I should change my uh, throwing my Q key to because <laughs> I would like to not accidentally throw items, but I also feel like I, you know, I don't, I don't throw items that much, honestly. So like, it probably wouldn't be that hard to change. I just don't know what to change it to. There's not a lot of keys that I rebind, because obviously you get used to them. But for example, I changed my F5 to G, so I can more easily switch between them. Because I see people do a lot of like, you know, rapid fire, burning around things and whatever. Um, and so I was like, you know what, if I'm going to do that, I can't be reaching up to F5 all the time. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, well, I got a, got more carrots. Not a lot. I think we have a blacksmith. Let me check what the blacks, because if the blacksmith trades iron, I could be using the iron farm right now to, um, uh, to be getting more emeralds too. What's this guy? Nope. Iron, yes. Ooh, it's only four. Okay, I should get some iron. Oh, F5 on X. I have X, X is already bound for me, but yeah. Yeah, G is pretty nice. Honestly, I feel like I could maybe make G my drop key, my Q key, 
and then maybe make um, F5 my X. It is set as the group chat, but that's not a problem. Uh, okay, let's go to the iron farm. Get some iron real quick. Also for the Abba caving, I do have um, some extra stuff. Um, some extra pickaxes ready for people who don't have them. Um, oh, my sprint key is my sprint key is still W. I haven't changed it. I just do the double tap, which I know is not the best, but I've just been. Oh, we don't have any iron in here. Don't want to end up using it. Well, <laughs> that's that's fine. I probably have some of my own iron I can use. <laughs> yeah, I still have, I double tap. I know. <laughs> I know a lot of people set it to like a key, but like the main reason why I haven't even tried to change it. Um, is because I just have so many things bound. I have too many key bindings because of my mods and like I just don't I don't have room. If I could do more forgot what it's called, but the combined keys, you know, and it's like shift something or control something. If I could do that for my normal key binds in Minecraft, then I would be set. Oh gosh, I don't I need to like smelt more Aaron. Okay, let's... I, I still need to build that dang super smelter. That's something that I've been planning. Get some of that. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, yeah, the double tapping is not... is definitely not the most efficient. Um, and I've certainly had issues with it. I was doing, like, like PvP or parkour stuff consistently... Why can't you just smelt blocks? I don't understand. Um, but yeah, if I was to be doing that like like consistently, then I would probably not have the double tap. <laughs> Oops. That in there. That in there. All right. That should be enough iron. And I'll go trade these carrots at least, because uh, those are going to take a bit to smelt. You know, I actually don't think I have R bound to anything. Let me check. I thought I had R bound to like reload shaders or something. Um, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I do. It's figure it. Wait, why is that not working? Well, I'm just going to make that, um, that <laughs> so I don't have it taken up. Nope, I don't have R bound to anything. I guess I could make it the sprint key, but I feel like the thing is, is that like double tapping is so quick and easy to just access right away and trying to like hold two keys at once is kind of strange. Um, so I don't know if like if I combine it to both, that could be nice, but I don't think I can do that. Yeah, sprint is hold at the toggle. Um, so I feel like I just forget to toggle it. But, you know, I, I could get used to it. Because um, I, I can see that you can, you know, change it to, like, toggle. Uh, do I have it actually... Oh, you know what? I do actually have it set. It's just that it's left control. Which I think left control is already taken by something. Okay, yeah, I could change that. Let me, let me just rebind it anyways, and if I start using it, then... Uh, you know, we'll see. So, I can still do the double tap, but I guess if I want to, I can... Oh, hello, whoops. <laughs> uh the wrong thing. R. There we go. Yeah, so I'll have it on both. Um, we'll see which one I end up using more. Wait, I was going over here to do things. Let's 
go trade with the farmers. Uh, if I can get another silk touch book, that would be nice because I think I need to. I want to get one more backup silk touch, just in case. All right. Got 28, and I think I have some books. Yeah, a tab could also, well, a tab could also work. Um, I do have one book. I need to get another one. Um, I was coming here to get Sweeping Edge, so let me see where that is. Look, touch. I don't know if we have a sign. A Sweeping Edge guy, I don't think so. Sweeping Edge, 13. Yeah, let's take that and um, go and get another book for a Silk Touch. Okay, so... I just want to get another pickaxe, um, I think. Hold on. Whoops. Just running into things. Um, what do we have here? Oh, you know what? I think I put my backup stuff in here, so that's efficiency 3, efficiency 5, iron pickaxe, <laughs> so I didn't have a lot of options. Um, that's my normal one, I could probably enchant that. So, let's see, um, need more books. Where did I put them? Books, where are you? Um, Got one bookshelf. Guess I'll just do that. And let's go do the iron because I didn't realize that those guys only wanted four iron. That is a very small amount compared to the carrots and stuff, which like, you know, you can get carrots very easily. So, oh, you only do it one time? That's not cool. Well, okay. Fine. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we got a lot of emeralds, so let's, um... Let's see, where is the silk touch? only six. Let's get more. Because I could always use more Silk Touch because it's valuable, it's useful. And if there's one thing, I, again, like, I, the reason why I don't use shaders all the time is, aside from frame rates, um, is just that, like, I don't like how the torch the torches the torches look at night. <laughs> I don't like how they look at nighttime. Um, they just like uh, they just don't look they don't look very good to me. And so I like how it looks with vanilla because it's not that obvious. Let's see. Uh, put those books away. I'm like running out of space. Oops. I want that. That away and that away. Okay, there we go. We got an extra diamond silk touch. And let's enchant my sword. There we go. We got sweeping edge again. No, I don't want to be um, doing all this just yet. was pretty much almost done anyways, so I want to keep some of these as um, iron blocks because I like the texture of them and I want those for building, even though I have no idea what I'd build with these. Okay. 
how long have I been going? It's been an hour and 30 minutes, and even though it's not as long, uh, I might... Yes, they do look like beans. <laughs> I may not play for too much longer because I'm... I haven't had breakfast, and so I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> but, uh... Let's see, this is almost done growing. Looking nice. I let me get a different I wanna get another sign so I can at least actually you know what? Uh mm. maybe I can just make the shop open because I don't think it's gonna be super useful <laughs> to most people. Uh let me just take this down. Oops. Let's just make this a currently unenchanted. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Uh, hold on. Soon, soon we will have enchanted. Whoops. Put that back. Let's go get some. Yeah, I was thinking about, I didn't know if it was only on hard or on normal, but yeah, we could set it to hard. Thing is, the main thing why I even had it set on easy is because I it was, you know, prior to having the Graves mod and I didn't want to die all the time. So considering we have the Graves mod, dying is not as terrible as uh, if we didn't have it. So it wouldn't be too bad if we up to the difficulty. And I need glow sacks. Where... Here it is. Also some dye would probably be nice. Um... Maybe some pink? I don't know. Oh, okay. You know, that's wild. I saw, like, two zombie villagers, like, the other day. And I didn't even, like, think about it. I was in, like, a cave. Um, I didn't even think about the fact that I saw them. I was only, I was in Spectator trying to find a cave, and I saw, like, two of them, which is wild. Um, I really should have kept those. And, yeah, that looks nice. And let's do pink. I don't know why, but why not? So the the quote unquote shop is more like a trade um, for unenchanted boots. It's two stacks of diorite, or three stacks of cobblestone, or two. Oh, I need to correct that. <laughs> two stacks moss blocks. And for the enchanted ones, which are not available yet, um, it's one stack diamond or one of one diamond or five stacks diorite. And I also need to correct that. So uh, yeah, the enchanted ones are going to have like unbreaking three and um, uh, and Frostwalker and stuff. I, they could maybe be worth a bit more than one diamond just because of the enchantments. But maybe I could do emeralds too. I don't know. Um, because the enchantments are the hard part, especially the Frostwalker one. So, um, yeah, so the trades could change also, which I think is the nice part. Uh, this shop might be more than just boots eventually, but for now, oh, you know what? I also want to grab a boot, a, a boots, one, one pair of boots, and get an item frame with low ink. I would like to set up like little shops that have various trades because, uh, as I said, I don't think anyone's that rich on the server, <laughs> so, um, so I'm not going to be asking for like diamonds or anything. Uh, 
item frame. Yes, I was looking for an item frame. Do I have any more, or...? Where is my leather? I know I, like, just went over it. Um, isn't it in... no? <laughs> Am I blind? Or do I not have any leather? Hmm. Um, I guess I don't have any leather. I know I used a lot of it for the boots, but I didn't realize that I used all of it. Nope. Okay. Guess I'm gonna go to the cow pen and kill some cows. Actually, no, I have leather. I have leather in my... I remember where I saw it. It was in my shulker box. That's where it was. I was like, I know I had leather <laughs> in my shulker box. And sticks. One here, and... Oop, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put the this leather away because I don't think I need it in here anymore. We're gonna put it in my mob's drop drop chest is getting very full, so I'm just gonna put it in here. I have got to <laughs> organize this mob drops chest because it's a bit uh not not great. And Let's put, uh, this in there for now. Okay, uh, let's put it... How do I have it over here? I have it... Okay, I have it up there. And boop, boop, there we go. All right, now we got some glowing, glowing signs for each of the shops. That's nice. I feel like I could put it like there, but eh, that's fine. The glowing ink signs are really useful, but the one thing that I'm really looking forward to is like those hanging signs. Um, Cause I kept doing that kind of thing here. I would love to just have actual hanging signs. It'd be very nice. So, uh, looking forward to those. Okay, let's see if I have any ladders. I only have one. I want to get some ladders for those nether portals. I don't think I have them anywhere else, so I'm just going to make some more. Man, ladders are, like, oddly expensive. Like, you don't get as many- I don't get as many as I expect to, but, like, it's just because of how many sticks it uses. Uh, I have a lot of spruce, so we're just gonna do that. And ladders. More sticks. More ladders. Alright, that's a good amount. Probably, I'm not sure that's enough, but we'll find out. And let's grab a shulker. Let's see if I have any nice blocks technically for this, because uh, I think it would be nice to maybe not just use dirt for, for these, so... I won't have the supplies to blow through the wall just yet. I'm just gonna get all this ready so I can start pillaring up and finding the place. Okay, uh...
think I will fly back out to uh fly back out to where was the coordinates? Oh, the chat doesn't go all the way up. That's fine. This negative uh three thousand by like negative seven hundred. Yeah, your cords. I was just gonna head over and get the coordinates for your portal so that I could make one on the roof, or at least mark where it's gonna be. Negative 3,782. Yeah, that was had the right idea. Man, the mountains over here are insane, and I would love to utilize like the ice peaks biome, like these icy peaks, because they are very cool. Also, mobs don't spawn on ice, I guess. Anyways, um... Gone a little bit too far on the X. Oop. This way. I haven't had like any problems with my armor, which uh, may just be because of the fact that we're playing on easy and haven't had a lot of struggles with mobs or anything. So turning it to hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe interesting. Even though I'm not as afraid as dying or anything, um, it may just become a bit more of a pain for a bit. But if we can get some zombie villagers and stuff, that, that would probably be good. Oh, I am... How did I start going the wrong way? Jeez. I always end up getting like turned around when I think the numbers. I always think the numbers are going up and then they are not. I know it was like. I thought it was. No. Okay. And then maybe I'll go over to Cinny's too and just figure out where that portal is. Um, but I'll I'll do the Nether breaking a different time because I don't think I have supplies for it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'll have to check. Also, I did make the particles on my jetpack. Uh, smaller, so they don't get as in your face when you are doing F3. Um, even though I think they look cool when they're big, um, it is kind of hard to do things <laughs> when it's in your face. Bees mad? Oh no. Gotta get bees. Uh, oh man, I don't know how bees work at all, <laughs> though I sadly cannot help you there. I know they do something, but I don't really know. I thought they were for smoking them, or like, I thought the smoke's, um, the smoke, like, 
took them out of the hive, but I guess it, it puts them, calms them down, uh, so. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that makes sense. I gotta, gotta get some bees at some point, too. This way, I think. Yeah, I gotta go this way a little bit. I will eventually figure out the right way to get here. Yes, I do remember the swamp. And the boat. Alright, uh... Ooh. There we go. I found it. A very strange rock. Um, oop. Just hitting trees. Let's go to the portal and uh, get those coordinates. Hello. Hello. I will be very quick. Uh, where was your portal again? <laughs> this way. There's the bees. They're ah. mad at me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, thank you. I will probably be in and out really quick, <laughs> so. Oh, that's fine. God, the echo. <laughs> uh, why am I typing in chat? Uh, Cindy, I think you should have a keybind. Um, mine is set as N and M. I think that might be the default. Um, M is mute and... N is, uh, N is to undeafen, so yeah. Okay. Screenshot time, it is at negative 86, negative 5, 10. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I will be maybe back. I don't know. You might, um, I'm gonna just mark where, where it goes. I don't wanna put another portal and then you end up going to the roof and then you can't get down. <laughs> so, that wouldn't be good. Well, I'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Oop. Oop. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, uh, Cindy, I have, I had to change my Lightmatica keys around too. It was very annoying. All the mods. I think Lightmatica does support some of the uh, like combination keys, which is nice, but I don't think it it's like for everything. Uh, I did take a screenshot of that, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Time to fly back home. Oh yeah, I have H. Thing is, is that I have H for mini HUD and also or turning off gamma which I gotta change or turning on the gamma filter you know what I'm gonna change that right now because it's kind of obnoxious I'll figure out where to put it later um let's see controls keybinds see gamma toggle uh, I'm gonna reset that it was at G but I don't well, let's make it that. Should be... Yes, okay. There we go, that's changed. <laughs> but yeah, my, my mini HUD is H right now, but... God. That's the one problem with mods. Ooh, someone's at my door. Hold on. I don't think it's anything important. <laughs> Hold on.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. That only took a little bit longer because I needed to get Salem to stop barking because she's so loud. <laughs> uh, we're good. <clears throat> okay, we are heading back to spawn. Salem's still barking. Um, oh, you got the B achievement. Oh, Salem. She still thinks someone is at the door, even though no one is there. The only problem is that my house is so small <laughs> that it's hard not to hear Sayla when she starts barking. So I try to get her to stop before I start streaming again. Which is why I don't have her in my room, because if she was in my room, oh, she would be so loud. She'd be peeking the microphone, so. How many different dye colors are there? Ooh, I don't, I don't know. Um, off the top of my head. I feel like it's 16, but I, I wouldn't, I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> And I am out of rockets. I am using my rockets a bit too much lately. Okay, let's uh, my rockets again. <laughs> you can use honey in redstone contraptions, and you can make honey blocks. Uh, and that's kind of all that I know it for, so. Oh yeah, you can drink it too. I don't know what drinking it does. Is it just hunger? Or, I don't know. It's tasty. Yeah, it's just hunger, okay. But yeah, honey blocks for redstone contraptions, which I know that you can use them in flying machines. Uh, so that could be useful. If you plan on making flying machines. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna go and... figure out where to put a portal, I guess. They might. I'm not so sure. I, I've done TND duping without honey blocks, so I know you can do it without it, but... Um, but yeah, I know you can also use them for flying machines that are a bit more complex it's kind of that's kind of all that i know them for because <laughs> they 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 um they are like slime blocks in that sense that they can be used in a similar way but not like slime blocks okay i need to pull up my screenshot because uh i don't remember what the coordinates were anymore. Uh, let's see, negative 500 and negative 86. Okay, we only need to go to 86. Uh, and... But we need to go all the way to negative 500, so... Which isn't technically that far in terms of the actual world border. Okay. Negative 5... 10. There we go, we got 10. And 86. Oh, your, your icon. Uh, hold on, let me see if I can pull it up. Real easy. I'm not so sure if I can see it um, easily. If you want to send it to me on Discord, you could also do that. I would love to uh, see it. 
not sure if I can see it well enough on my screen. Hold on. Uh, and then I go 86. Right here. Hold on. Yeah, if you send it to me on Discord, I'd be glad to see it. Um, there we go. That is right where I came out. So that's good to know. And we'll have to figure out how to get down there eventually. That crackling sound is so terrible. Okay, uh, now I just need to get back into... <laughs> Uh, get back to where we came from. Which is this way. I'm gonna walk, I guess, because I kind of want to um, mark my path a little bit. You know what? I should be using torches. Why am I using... these torches okay uh one thing i need to do is i have so many things i keep saying i need to do which is definitely true i have a lot of things i want to do what biome is this is this just uh Warped forest. Okay, we are over a warped forest. I don't know why I didn't realize the skybox was so dark. This is not the best line of torches, but it'll do. God, creepy sounds. But uh, I, I, I got so many farms I want to do, and it's like, I'm glad there's more people on the server who maybe might also make farms, because, you know, they're cool to have, and people can have their own personal farms too, which is kind of the thing that's that's nice to see, because having community farms is good, but I also kind of want to build some of my own farms. There we go. Back to the portal. Um, I don't have a sign, so... Probably not gonna make that the torch path to follow because it kind of goes in a weird direction, but uh, yeah. And then you can find Cinny's base and portal. Cinny, if you were listening, let me know what your coordinates are again. Or actually, they're in the Discord, aren't they? Um. I assume your portal is at your base, so I will just go there. Negative 1100 to 56. <laughs> nah, I was just gonna ask what your cords were, but I saw that they are in the Discord server, so... I'm gonna head that way and find your nether portal. The one thing I would like to do on the roof is to um, use, like, wool carpet to make paths. Okay, cool. I will go and find that. And... Okay, yeah, this is the right way, I believe. I, I did go there, so... Like, once, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna mark where it is on the roof. Um, went a little bit too far. Ah, uh, over here, yes. There's so many flowers. 
I'm gonna unmute. <laughs> if you have the stream on, you might get an echo. Said it was under your house. Yes, I like this place. It's very nice. Take a little look. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, that's. I like the mangrove wood. That's something that I've liked a lot more. Oh hi. Hi. I'm just taking a look. It's very small, but I like it. Yeah, this is nice. This is actually a pretty decent sized house. I've been making houses that are way smaller than this lately, I, so. Yeah, I'm trying to like give myself room to grow. Yeah. I actually was fucking around with um, building a little tower on this side Ooh. earlier in creative. Um, I haven't quite gotten it down yet, but. That'd look nice. Um, my portal is down this way. Ah, okay. Cool. I will be in and out probably pretty quick, <laughs> so. Okie doke. So glad we can use the um, crying obsidian. It looks so nice. Ah, we are in a box. Okay. This is. Well, this is not too far, actually. This may actually be. Oh, huh, yeah. This may actually, like, technically be close to the spawn one. So. Let's, uh, get out of here. Sound like water. That was strange. Um, anyways. Okay. Let's, uh... Took a screenshot of that. Okay. Or <laughs> that I didn't. Alright, I'm gonna make you, or I'm gonna at least mark where your portal is on the roof. <laughs> um, but okay. I won't I won't make a portal until I actually break the bedrock, so. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Thank you. Connecting everyone with portals in the nether is, is something I definitely want to do, so we can easily access each other's bases and stuff. Uh, which way is home? This way. No. This way. No. This way. Kind of. Yes? Yeah. Um, I know Cindy's not very far, so... Also, I've seen- I'm seeing your picture. Um... Your- I see your picture in the Discord Mothy. That's very cool. I like- I like seeing art and stuff. Like, people do artwork in Minecraft. I've not ever done anything like that. Um, it looks really nice. <clears throat> thing I want to do a bit more is like more artsy things. Mostly like the the yellow block choices and stuff. That looks very nice. I've not done anything like like pixel art y stuff before. Um so let me land here and get Discord out of my face. Yeah, I gotta turn up voice chat for certain players. Um, I think most people I gotta turn up a little bit. Kinda depends on the person, sadly. <laughs> Some people's microphones are quieter than others, so. And let me get that screenshot up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know how I sound to everyone else. But luckily, no one else is recording and posting videos, so I don't have to be concerned unless they do. So, ooh, this is tiny. That's good. My microphone, I've had problems, whoop. Oh god, full screen picture. Uh, I've had problems with my microphone being, like, too quiet in the past, because it's a condenser mic, and I... It's XLR also. That's also good. I'm glad that it sounds nice because I'll have I'll never have any clue how it sounds to other people, so I'd hope that it sounds good. The other problem is I really gotta sort out if my audio is good enough after the stream 
on my end because my desktop audio always appears pretty quiet, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, you, you sounded good too. Uh, your microphone sounded nice. Okay, so we need to go... Uh, 54... Okay, this... No, not that way. Not that way. <laughs> well, yeah, if it's an expensive mic, then I would hope so. And you did sound good, so I can tell. Uh... Okay, this way. Let's start. Oh, I don't have a lot of torches. Yeah, my microphone's also... Well, my microphone's not that expensive, or at least by my standards. I've seen some pretty expensive microphones out there, and the one that I have is not terrible. Uh, 145... Oh yeah, not that far. Okay, so 145, 54. All right. And boop. That's not hard. Okay. That one's actually pretty close. I should I should really get some like indications, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, my I don't know what microphone you have, but I have um a what is the number on this thing? This is the Sure Beta 7C. I've had this for a long time. I actually considered getting a different one because, like, technically speaking, um, this microphone is kind of more suited for instruments, which is why sometimes it comes out really quiet and maybe not the best for voices. It's not that it's bad for voices, it's just, you know, it's it was made with the intent um, of it being more for instruments. <laughs> yeah, um... But yeah, I was considering getting a different one, but honestly, this microphone's fine, and I've had a better time with it now that I've learned a bit more about audio and stuff, that it's not a huge deal. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we won't be doing any of the TNT roof explo exploding right now, but uh, we will eventually. I will have to like dig up and figure out what the actual spot is that I can do it, because... Um, if I don't, then I might break bedrock, and then there might just be more bedrock, which is not something I want to go through. So. Uh, okay, so we did the leather boot shop. I think we found a good cave. I think I took a picture of it. Let me double check that I did. That'll have to go back on the stream. See if I have that cave saved. Um... No, not that one. Uh, this one, I think. I think it's this one. Yeah, so looks like I do have a screenshot of that. So yeah, uh, I will probably, like, I'll just do, like, a little ping in the Discord server about ABBA caving. We can plan for a specific day. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that's all that it is. Honestly, like that's kind of what I do on stream sometimes is just like mindless, not super interesting stuff. Of course, you typically do that. Um uh you typically do the grindy boring stuff if you do like YouTube videos, but I don't. So that's all that you guys get <laughs> is the often boring grindy stuff or me just not knowing exactly what I want to do. Struggling for four more levels. If you don't want to, if you do want to cheat, you can use a Enderman farm. If you don't want to cheat, then don't use a Enderman farm. But yeah, streams. Streams are nice. I like. I like doing the streams. They can be pretty chill and enjoyable. Uh, I'm gonna take a because I'm probably gonna end soon. It's been over two hours. 
Uh, I'm going to double check. And see if there's anyone we could maybe raid. Anyone that I know that's playing. We don't necessarily need to. I may not if I can't. I was hoping to maybe find a friend. Um, what's the spawn portal cords? It's pretty much just zero zero. If you head for zero zero, it's like, you know, it's along the river. Um, so you won't miss it. It's pretty big also. <laughs> I gotta finish that portal as well. There's supposed to be an ice spike on the other side of it, which I haven't done yet because I'm lazy. It needs to look natural and varied, so like I just haven't designed the other side. I will probably freehand it, I think. But it looks good, I just need to do the other part. Uh, anyways, yeah, I think think that's probably gonna be it for today because I'm I'm tired and I have not had breakfast, so I need to go and eat eat food. And I will probably get on Minecraft again later today because I have things I still want to do, but no more streaming. We are done with the stream, and I think I'm just gonna end this stream simply. Um, and I will see you guys again on on Thursday probably. So bye.